Well, be happy today or be upset because you will be getting two videos recorded tonight. Maybe one upload tonight, maybe one upload tomorrow, maybe both upload tonight. But you are either right or you're not Bond. Because once again, I am right. So all you Final Fantasy fans, all you fans of the 16th failure, get ready. Oh, 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 I'm going in tonight. But before I destroy your emotions and hurt your feelings and make you cry and let you know that once again, as always, I'm batting .999, pretty much always right, only wrong one time, maybe two. Be sure to check out my channel, Black Bond, prior videos that include Sony delays half of their live service games because they are incompetent morons. This is exactly why Jack Ryan got the hell out. City Skylines 2, Paradox Interactive should be embarrassed as they should. What a feeble attempt at a launch of a game. MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries, the best max clan weapons, loadouts, variants, part two. And as always, the current whipping boy of the online internet gaming space, the Xbox fanboys and Baroque, Broke, Baroque works. Little One Piece reference. I'm at Fish Island right now. Kind of boring, but it's starting to get good. As always, be sure to check out the Weapon Wheel podcast it's every Sunday at the new time, 5 p.m. Eastern. Be sure to check out the channels of myself and the cohorts, you know, Smooth, BG, Jack, Blandrew, Alex. I mean, if Alex ever uploads, I don't know. Be sure to check him out too. Also, the Patreon. Yes, people. 551 members, so all the people crying and whining, saying how <clears throat> we're failing and we have no views and we have no support. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shoo, shoo, you're lying. Lying like you always do. Like you always do. So, before we get into this, I just want to say that I have played the game. I am very deep in the game. I've beaten Garuda. I've beaten Odin. I've beaten Titan. I've beaten Bahamut. I've just beaten um, the bald villain. Won't spoil it, but yeah, just beat him. And you know, my build is pretty good. I use Odin with the dancing sword technique, and I've mastered Bahamut's Giga Flare. I use Garuda. I use the gouge and then the uh, tornado thing. And I use Shiva with Diamond Dust and, me and me Mesmerize or Memorize. One, one or two. One or two. So nobody can tell me that I haven't played this trash-ass game. You can look at the trophies. Uh, I started this game September 16th. I was playing November. Hmm, I thought I had more trophies. Oh, okay. No, no, no. More trophies. What's the most recent trophy? What is the most recent trophy? Because I thought I got one recently. Guess not. Most recent was Twin Flames, November 2nd. About 10 days ago, but I'm plugging and chugging and trying to finish this game so I can get over to Armored Core. Now, before I get into this uh, post I made, what was this post made? June 13th. My friend is a lifelong friend with the equivalent Japanese RPG and gaming experience. Final Fantasy 16 is not a Final Fantasy game. It's a game that uses the Final Fantasy branding for marketing and sales. Anyone who says otherwise is irrelevant. And we go and have this conversation. I see what you mean. This doesn't really feel like Final Fantasy. They really should just drop that shit. They slap the Final Fantasy name on everything just to get sales. Not even does it... I say it plays like God of War, Devil May Cry, right? Not even. It's worse because it tries to be something it's not. It almost feels like it's being held back by the false act of attempting to be a Final Fantasy. Don't get me wrong, the game is clean, the game is polished, and it looks like a good effort was made. I just think they shouldn't be using the name Final Fantasy so loosely. Back in the day, they had a damn sense to name it something else. Like Crystal Chronicles. Or like Dirge of Cerberus. Or any other spin-off Final Fantasy. Secret of Mana, Evermore, for example, shouldn't be forced to sit through this identity crisis with them. So basically, storytelling, menus, cutscenes are Final Fantasy. Gameplay is RPG-fied. 
Devil May Cry. It feels like two different games at the same time. I honestly am not sure if this is the same type of people who like action combat, enjoy sitting through heavy story development and intensive menu screens. I think they need to figure out what they truly want to market this to and make a commitment in a certain direction. But they should stop slapping the Final Fantasy title on every game they pour resources into and are justified in being proud of. But nothing about this gameplay screams Final Fantasy. And this got 900,000 views from whining, crying, social reject morons that haven't been playing the game since part one like I have. I own all the games. Every mainline Final Fantasy that isn't an MMO, I own. And I have people that haven't even started since 10, or haven't even started since 13, or haven't even started since 15. I've had people that started at 7 trying to tell me this game has awful characters. Clive and Jill are the only, and Sid, because Sid is a mainstay, are the only characters I know in this game. Barbarossa, is that, is that Odin's name? I don't even know Clive's brother's name, Ro Rosal. Like, none of these characters are memorable. None of these characters mean anything. I don't give a damn about any of these characters. I don't care about any of these bosses. I don't care about any of these antagonists. I don't care about the world. The leveling system is trash. The, ability, the stat modifiers are the most basic of all basic. I mean... Spells, casting, heals, none of that really exists in the game. You play it like a God of War where you're just holding the R2 and spamming two abilities and switching over to a different weapon or a different ability. Every battle starts out the same exact way. Spam two abilities, switch. Spam two abilities, switch. Spam two abilities, switch. L3, R3, um, God of War rage mode, hit the person, stunned, keep hitting them, reset, Use two abilities, switch. Use two abilities, switch. Use two abilities, switch. L3, R3, rage mode, hit, stun, rinse, and repeat. We have no elemental damage, no elemental modifiers, no elemental resistances, no different types of armor, no really different types of equipment, only one type of weapon in a sword, needlessly forced, overdramatic cussing, and like... Who made this game? Yoshi P is Yoshi Piss. But you may not take my opinion seriously. You may not take the views of a 37-year-old who has played this game from the original one on the Nintendo to Final Fantasy 2, a.k.a. Final Fantasy 4 with Cecil to Final Fantasy 3, a.k.a. Final Fantasy 6 with Tara Lock and Edgar. You may not want to listen to me, but it's okay. Just like I said, just like I said, just like a cowboy fan in the NFC East, you got so far. You got the sales, you got the ratings, which, you know, the ratings aren't higher than any other of the great turn-based RPGs like Dragon Quest or Sea of Stars or Persona. Yeah, or Xenoblade 3, so yeah, yeah, you can shut up now about how nobody wants to play turn-based RPGs or how they're not quality. They are. But I am looking at the December 7th Game Awards Game of the Year. And as predicted, the big three, or the big four, I should say, Nintendo clocking in with two, Mario and Zelda. Sony clocking in at one with Spider-Man 2. Baldur's Gate 3. Those are the big four. I thought Starfield might get in just off of pity, but if it wasn't going to get in, then no. I think I picked um, Star Wars and Hogwarts, so I was wrong on the last two. Because I didn't think they were going to put in a remake. But where's Final Fantasy? Where, where, where is Final Fantasy 16? I was told... That this is the best Final Fantasy game ever. I was told that this is one of the best JRPGs ever. Despite it not having any RPG elements at all. Don't even get me started on the side quests. Because those are ass too. There's nothing redeeming about this game. There isn't. It's not a good RPG. 
It's a below average action RPG compared to God of War and Devil May Cry. It has god awful side quests. It has the most forgettable cast of characters in any Final Fantasy. Where are the where are the antagonists? I have no idea. You got some bald purple gooey green gremlin. Uh, I'm your vessel. Mythos. It, the, the story is literally about a man wanting to be in another man's body. And no, I'm not being sarcastic. It literally is about a bald man trying to be and get inside another man's body. <laughs> and no game of the year for you clowns, not even a nomination. And you know what makes it even better? You won't even get best RPG. Because Sea of Stars, Baldur's Gate, Super Mario RPG, and plenty of other Japanese RPGs out there will knock Final Fantasy 16's ass out of the running. The only good thing that is exceptional, exceptional, I sound like Kid Smooth and BG, exceptional. The only exceptional thing about this game, and I will give it props for this, it has by far the best soundtrack of any Final Fantasy and one of the best soundtracks of any game ever created. I, I will freely admit that. This game comes out on CD or on vinyl, let me know. I, I will buy it tomorrow. But outside of that, it fails as an RPG. It fails as a story. It fails with the main characters. It fails with a good party. It fails with the antagonist. It fails with the world. It fails with this combat because this combat is DMC God of War Light. Jack of all, master of none, jack of all, not even average at one, outside of music. So, all you Final Fantasy turds and you losers crying all up and down my timeline, yeah, accept it, live with it, deal with it. Because again, it's not nominated for Game of the Year. And don't worry. I'm going to get on you Starfield clowns next. All you broke losers saying that I'm a PlayStation fanboy just because I like Spider-Man 2, which I will be giving a review for, by the way. But, you know, it's so funny. When I absolutely don't like games like Returnal and games like Final Fantasy 16, people cry and complain. Say I'm a PlayStation hater. And I don't know what I'm talking about. And y'all get into feelings. And the same thing happens. When I say that a PlayStation game is good. Oh, you're an Xbox fanboy. Oh, you just love them so much. Now my broke ass has to get on my computer that I can't afford a camera on. And I gotta cry to everybody and be in Discord and Twitter. Shut your dumb ass up. Y'all make me sick. You are absolutely pathetic, cheap dick riders who have no thoughts of your own. Anybody calling me a PlayStation fanboy, let alone a console fanboy, as I sit behind a $5,000 setup and game primarily on a PC, to, the, to, to this degree, let, let, let me show you what I do on my PC. I build cities for 400 hours. I pilot battle mechs for over a thousand hours. <laughs> and I order around battle mechs for 370 hours. But oh no. Black Bond. The, the, the big old PlayStation fanboy. Because I called y'all broke. Get over yourselves. Just like... You Final Fantasy 16 fans need to get over yourself. Play a real Final Fantasy. Play the Final Fantasy remake. Better yet, get excited for its sequel.